पहली बार टेस्ट ड्राइव करते हुए वेट अ सेक वेट अ सेक यू आर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो विदाउट द होस्ट हेलो देयर वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल अगेन माय नेम इज शिरवाज डू आई नीड टू से दैट आई आई शुड लेट लेट्स डू इट अगेन लेट्स डू इट अगेन क्या था हेलो देयर एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो एंड इन टुडेस वीडियो Hello 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 wait 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 you are starting this video without me without the host welcome back to my channel again there's another view there's another car behind me is hashtag one smart hashtag one and today we are going to test drive this car this car is the brabus version it's like the top of the range one so i thought if i'm making a review i'm going to get a top of the range one so the brabus one is like this this car got interior of the e class basically inside so it's a very premium interior inside and this one is show 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 this this badge so this is the brabus brabus version and they specialize in all this kits and everything and this design of the car looks amazing uh you can see that if this car got this brabusy look you know what i mean so anyways Let's start the review. To test drive this car, we went to this beautiful Mercedes showroom in Brooklyn, Surrey. And yes, the smart brand belongs to Mercedes-Benz and Geely Holding Group. So alongside with some brand new electric cars, there were some awesome classic cars there as well. This place was massive. So there were so many cars over there. I'll make a separate video about this place because this place is actually a museum as well. So this is the new Smart Hashtag One, and it has grown a bit from the original Smart car design in size. Let's talk about the front design of this car. Front is very unique, or you can say that very smart. And yeah, I like the headlight design. Front grille looks very Brabusy, of course, because it is a Brabus version, and it's also written here on the front grille. And check out these black trimmed air vents. Also there is a front camera given for a easier parking. From the side the car looks even more cooler with this black and white trim. Side skirts are quite big with again the Brabus logo on it. This car comes with a 19 inch of alloy rims and they look really nice. But unfortunately they only come in one design. However these red brake calipers look really really cool. But look at that there's a smart sign here on the back light as well. This car also offers AC and DC charge which is also called CCS charging system. Talking about the back side, hashtag one is written here as well as you can see. But I gotta say that design of the tail lights looks like signature EQ style, but they do look really nice and unique. So the boot capacity is 411 liters with all the seats moved forward and 273 liters with the normal seating position. There is some extra storage for your charging cable and other stuff. This car also have some space in the front, just like a Tesla. Oh, sorry, it's locked. Look at this! What a big space! Look. Unfortunately, this is the only space you get. Isn't that cool? Legroom and head space is really good because you can slide the rear passenger seats to make more space. Quality of the rear seats is premium. Soft Alcantara with this red seat belts looks really sporty. Interior quality on these back doors with this red stitching looks really really cool. And these back windows don't go down all the way, and I don't really like that. and also these red inserts on the headrest they look really nice and very sporty ac vents at the back and underneath these ac vents is type c and usb charging ports also the door bins for the back door are okay size for putting the bottle water in it and stuff and now let's talk about the cockpit of this car to be honest i really really like this place brabus sports allen katara steering wheel with red stitching 12.8 inch bright display 9.2 inch hd instrument cluster head up display i mean this car is a full package and i would really love to sit in this cockpit this b signs mean this car have beats sound system In the middle there is a wireless charging pad with 12 watt socket and two USB C charging ports. Plenty of storage space underneath here. Also there is plenty of space in the side door pockets. You can easily put a big bottle of water here. Two cup holder space here in the middle and the key for the smart hashtag one looks like this. Also there is a deep storage pocket here with a cool feature. You can actually use this as a chiller because there is a cooling fan in there. This car also comes with a panoramic roof and there's also a automatic shade which you can open and close.
there is also a place to keep your sunglasses. Brightness of the screen is really good. Graphics of the maps are okay as well. There is not much lag in the touch sensitivity of the screen. This is also compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Climate controls are quite easy to use. There's a very cool feature in the car. If someone farts in the car, you can deodorize that with this deodorization feature. It can blast the air out and within few seconds, the car will be fresh again. It's funny and really cool feature. We are going to test drive it, the comfort of the car, how quiet the cabin is, how good this car is over the bumps, everything. We're gonna test it right now. So right now, this is, so if you put in D, so there's the driving mode here. Okay, so now we are going to check the car. Well, we're gonna put it in the comfort mode for now. And we're gonna see how bumpy this car is. To be honest, this is very comfortable and very quiet cabin, isn't it? Quiet enough coffee. This is very quiet inside. Uh, we're gonna take it to the main road. And I think I'm gonna compare it with the comfort of a Tesla. To be honest, comparing with the Tesla Model 3, I think this is more comfortable than a Tesla. But if whoever has driven the Tesla, the road grip and the acceleration and all that thing you get in a Tesla is different. And so this one is different as well, but certainly this is more comfortable than a Tesla Model 3. Not the newer version, I'm talking about the older one. The best thing is the cabin is very quiet as well. You can see all the angles like the side ones there's all the angles the front one the back one you can see the blind spot assist so this is the 3d um this 3d version of that so you can see that what's what your car is doing like even if i'm turning the wheels you can see that and when you put in the drive it just disappears when you do the blind spot again you can see the car is moving that's pretty cool isn't it the navigation is not that bad i mean it's a bit laggy as you can see it's not as smooth as the tesla one is sorry if i'm keep comparing this one with the tesla but you know that's what that's what i drive so you know but the navigation is pretty good it's pretty clear you can see all the signs in signs here as well so it's pretty neat and pretty clean the steering is quite good the position of your seat is amazing as well I actually like this car. I really like this car. Um, so when you turn right or left, it shows you which way you're going, right? Over here. You're turning right, it turns right. If you're turning left, it turns left. Okay, you can actually see the display. The head in, in the head-up display, you can see the navigation here as well. Tiny bit, if you can see that. There's the head-up display. So yeah, this concludes our review today. I hope you liked the video. And if you want me to make more videos like this, please, please, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, and uh, I hope to see you on the next one. This concludes our review today. This car is amazing. I think it's, in, I mean, if I were to be, if I were to be buying a new electric car, I would definitely consider this car because this is a really, really nice car as compared to the other cars. It's very fast, first of all. It's very comfortable. It's very quiet. You got a lot of leg room inside, even in the back seat as well. There's a lot of leg room. The, uh, the boot is quite big as well. It's a complete family car, I think. I love it. So anyways, I see you on the next video. Bye for now. So now we're gonna check how fast this car is. So one, two, three, go. Whoa! Bloody hell. This is fast. This is absolutely fast. Oh my God.